Hello, my name is Rima, and today, I'm going to show you how to use Venizen's translation workbench in Salesforce. There are several different elements that you can translate. Some examples are custom label, custom object, standard object, object as a product, flow survey chatbot, and many more. But today I will show you the flow for custom label and custom object. Let's get into it. We start with the flow for custom label, here we begin by launching translation projects from the Verbis application, then click on New in the top right corner. Now you get a few different options depending on your license, but for this demo, we will select Translation Workbench. Here we have to fill in a title and target date for the project, and then proceed to select the option Custom Label. Here it is mandatory to choose at least one language, namespace, and at least one category. In this demo, I will choose three languages and all the categories available. You can also add various other filters to narrow down to the custom labels you want to work with. For example, description and created date, however these are not mandatory. When you have created your filter, click on the next button. In the following view you will have a list of all the labels that fit within your filter settings. From here you can manually deselect labels you don't want to include. When you are satisfied with your selection, you can click on the submit button. In the next view we will be able to view the various language versions, by pressing the version we can review the translation for each label. Here we will have the original text on our right hand side and a machine translation version to the left, in the rich text editor below, we make edits if needed. Otherwise directly approve them by clicking on submit for approval on the top of the page. When it has been approved, the application will update the translations for all labels that we have selected in the language we chose, in this example to French. In the next scenario, I will show you in the Venism Translation Workbench is Custom Object Translation. We begin by giving the project a title and a target date, and choose Custom Object, then press Next. In this view, we chose target languages and fill out namespace, just like previously are these fields mandatory. We can use multiple combinations of filter settings depending on the product. The filter options we can use are custom object and setup component which both are mandatory. Here I chose two custom objects. As you can see object details is already pre-chosen for setup component, but I will add field label here as well. When we are satisfied with our filtered settings, we can go ahead and press next. When we press the next button, a list of all products that match with the filtered criteria will populate. After that you can manually deselect the products that you don't want to include in this project. When you are finished with configuring your translation project, you click on the Submit button to create the project. In the next view you will be able to review the content, just like previously you click on the version you want to check, here you can review and edit any of your desired objects, which in this case was field labels. Then you will have the original version on your right hand side and the machine translated version on your left, and below the rich text editor where we can make any desired changes. Once you have examined the labels chosen you approve the translations by simply pressing submit for approval. When it has been approved, the application will update all the labels we chose to translate. That's it for this demo, as you can see it's very easy to use. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you want to learn more about other Venism features or try them out for yourself, visit our website linked below or reach out to supportvenism.com. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos.